So, uh, usually I don't like to slam my clay on here because it's hard to find the center. So, I actually would just make a mark. Okay, you can use a, a tip of water. You can make a circle here. So, you have a circle here and then there's a guideline. So, try to place the clay right in the circle will help you a lot. And then <coughs> this serves us the same purpose of slamming the clay so that your clay will stick on the bed. Okay. Right, so it's almost center. So first thing I would like to do is try to seal the clay. So just use my finger to kind of compress it so the clay is stick on here. Okay, like I usually uh, tell people when you're centering, you want to spin the wheel a bit faster and make sure your hand is always lubricated, slippery, okay? And also you find in support of your hand, your arm. Okay, so I always tell people that three S's you want to remember. The speed control, the spinning speed of the wheel and the movement speed of your hand, that's called S, the first. And then slippery, okay, constantly at the water or maybe even the slip on the surface, make it slippery. That's the second S. And the third S is support, okay. If your hand is hanging like this, you don't have a support, clay is going to push your body all around. So if you can find a support like here on the splash pan, or you can raise up your laps, okay, here or here, anywhere that you find a support. And then, when uh, you are moving clay, uh, again, I saw a lot of beginners, they try to, to push the clay here. That's, you are wasting your energy because the more area touching the surface, the less pressure on the surface. So if you try to uh, curve your fingers, you know, curve your fingers, then you create more pressure. You, you push the clay more efficient. So well, that's why you want to use the point pressure to put it on the surface of the clay. And you can see that my arm, my right arm is resting right here. It's quite stable here. And just pushing the clay onto my right arm. So I got my center. Now I'm ready to open the hole. And you see that I use the water very efficient. I don't use a sponge to kind of squeeze the water because water is not going to stick on the surface. It's going to drain on the splash pan. So I kind of remove the slip, coat it on the surface and just get enough water onto my hand and just lubricate, just get it slippery. Just drill a hole first, and then I'm gonna put the uh, slip inside the hole. Need a bit of water here, and I'm gonna drill using my left hand. Uh, I find that uh, you could use your right hand any any way you feel comfortable. But my way of uh, using my left hand is because eventually I'm gonna use my left hand inside and try to lift it up. So might as well just use the left hand to drill. Uh, also, or you can use uh, your both hand. Like here, you can leverage here. Okay, open it up. Okay, like here, you can open it up. Your leverage. Okay. So lots of a way to open your holes. Just uh, adapt the way that you you feel more comfortable. Okay. And then when I'm drilling it, actually my right arm is here, kind of supporting it. So when I'm drilling it in, my 
left hand is resting my, on my right hand. So when I'm digging in, my both hand actually is kind of holding, compressing the wall here too. And I always drill the hole till the right thickness. Okay, so use all my fingers goes in here. Uh, I would say about a little bit more than a quarter of it. I would say about five eighths of each for the bottom. And once I get to the bottom right, and I try to spread out the bottom. Um, to be able to throw your, your wall taller, usually you got lots of clay built up on the bottom corner. So if you do this way, you try to spread out, your bottom corner will have less clay when you try to lift it up. <coughs> okay, so you want to compress the, the, the bottom floor a couple times. If you have any question, feel free to ask any time, okay? Are you compressing the wall at the same time, or are you just focused on the bottom? I'll uh, focus on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, focus on, on the bottom. And you don't care if the bottom is perfectly flat at this point? Not, this, uh, not at this point. Okay. okay. Right, so... Now I've kind of bring up, bring, spread out the, the, the clay, so I have, will have less clay here. And for a large amount of clay, I usually go this way first, okay? Still, the hand is holding on the outside, and I'm doing the lifting from the inside, okay? Using this hand and lifting the clay against my right arm, right, right hand. Right. Um, to be able to throw your cylinder taller, I would usually like to color in, okay? make the, the cylinder a little bit narrower. Start from the very bottom corner, okay? my right fingertips, kind of dig in from here. Boom. Put it in. And then both hands hold on the side. And move it up and compress the rim. Toss the uh, slip inside. And now you can see that I still don't have any drip of water on my splash pan because I use the water efficiently. Mm -hmm. Wider, yes. Why don't we start narrower? I, I actually I have two ways to open the hole. You can start open the hole taller, go dig in. But I find out that it's easier for beginner to start at lower, though, so that you can focus on the bottom floor, build up the floor, and compress the floor. And later on, you just color in. It'll be easier for beginner. Both, both are the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard too. Like if your if your clay is taller and you try to open it, you have to press a mm -hmm. lot harder. Yeah. So yeah. when it's down lower, you have a little bit easier time getting it open, and then you can collar it. Later. Mm -hmm. How much clay did you start with here? Which, which uh, this one I didn't measure it. I always say it about five pounds.
right so now my wall is getting thinner it will be easier for my finger tip to lift so my way of lifting is using the thumb method okay the thumb and the inside finger and both hands is gripping the clay and move it up and start from the inside corner using my fingertip there and then my outside hand is here and you see that I try to find a support you see that my left thumb is extending out and holding my right I'm holding my wrist here And when you release your hand, you're gonna sneak away slowly and compress the rim. Can you show again how you're compressing on the okay. outside? This is the hand, the inside hand. Push out. This is the outside hand. Both hands kind of grabbing the clay like this. Basically, it's using the point, the point. And lift it. Okay. The the good thing for using the point pressure is that you compress more efficiently and you will have less friction. If you're using the hand here, you create a lot of friction so that you need to add a lot of water to it. If you have a smaller point to compress, you will have less friction. You don't need to use a lot of water. And the water is weakening your wall. Okay, so that's why use the point pressure it's better than using the whole surface to, to compress to move the clay and for the speed of the wheel actually when you start it you go a bit faster like i told you when you are centering you go your wheel a little bit faster and once you get your wall built up and your wall is getting thinner you slow down the speed of the wheel are you using your whole hand when you're compressing or just two fingers you mean this here yeah just you could use the whole whole hand okay, okay. Whole hand here the thumb outside and the inside finger there and then just compress When you pull up, because mm -hmm. I think pulling up is the hardest. And when you pull up, like mm -hmm. you say, you use the point, like specifically on the right hand, mm -hmm. which point, like when you leave it. I understand that in inside is kind of pushing and kind of kind of leading mm -hmm. up like this. But for the right hand, it's actually really which point, like. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me get my uh, uh, plastic glass so you will be able to see the inside and outside hand. How is that? Okay. Okay, so this is the cylinder. When I pull it, okay, this is the hand. This point here lightly touch. Okay, I, I'm actually bending my hand, and the thumb has to attach here. Okay, mm. you don't go too far away because this has no support. Mm. You want to attach here, so this is the point. Mm. Okay, using this point, and I'm gonna draw a line here straight up. Okay, and the inside hand is like here. So only actually, it's only the thumb. The thumb. Oh. This is just <laughs> holding. <laughs> that was the answer. Like... <laughs> <laughs> the inside is just. Okay. That's, right here. that's a bit unusual in terms of, of you know lots and lots of teachers that I've seen so but it's very effective so if you can get your hand to go that way it seems like it yeah well yeah, it's the this doesn't look hand. like you know you bend your hand and kind of hurry your wrist right but think about if you have a wheel that is upside down okay yeah my hand is here my hand is here isn't this very natural <laughs> right? Sure. Is it natural, right? Uh, 
Thank you. Yeah. So you try to find uh, something that practice this way, and then you put it back on the wheel. And... What do you do now when it gets really tall and you can't brace? What? Now when the cylinder gets really tall and you gotta mm -hmm. start at the bottom. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, I, I use, use my all my use fingers. Mm -hmm. So when you color, when I color, I tend to kind of mess up at the same time. Okay. Like I, cause it's easy to flare out. It's kind of harder to point in. Mm -hmm. Sometimes to me, for me, and so what kind of point when you color in? Do you use? I usually just hold it like that. Yes. And just kind of bring the clay, and what you, you color in, you have to do it slowly. Okay, you move your hands slowly. And once I move to the top, I like to put my finger here to control it, so the rim doesn't go wild. Mm -hmm. I know you said when you pull up, you use more of the pressure point. Mm -hmm. When you cone in, is that mainly you also using the pressure point or more of the, the yeah. flat surface? Just flat surface. Okay. Yeah, it would be fine. So you see that when I'm coning in, I add water to it mm -hmm. to get it slippery. Do you also tense when you cone in? You the is the wheel speed is also slower. Uh no, actually no. not. No. no. Okay. Faster. A little bit faster sometimes, yeah. depending on, you know, the the speed of wheel is depending on how wide your cylinder. Mm -hmm. If your cylinder is wider, then you need to slow down. Mm -hmm. If your cylinder is smaller, like if you throw in a spout for teapot, then you have to spin the wheel a little bit faster. I see. So that's why I, I talk about S, that's it called speed control. Speed. The spinning speed of the wheel and the moving speed of your hand. But usually you you could spin your wheel fast, but you have to your hand mo hand movement usually is slow. Mm. Okay, hand move, movement is slow. See that I do this a lot. Each between each pull, I put the slip back to work. I'm going to uh, squeeze it and make it oval shape. So I like to keep my base narrow. So that when you uh, make the oval shape, the the, the bottom smaller, it, it help. So I keep it smaller. Uh, yes, the inside finger a little bit higher once you lift it up, yeah. So 
So I'm going to alter and then also use a short form to trim down a little bit clay so I don't need to get my wall too thin. Still leave the wall a little bit of a thickness. So now I'm ready to get the shape. Using using this the wooden rib, I will be able to remove the throat mark. take care of it but now I'm taking care of the bottom yeah and later on that this part you, you will be able to take care of, but now you don't need to go all the way Spe especially uh, a lot of people tend to throw this part too thin I like to leave a little bit of clay so that I can work on it later on if I want to have a narrow neck or something I still have clay here to, to work with Use the wooden rib first to remove all the the throwing mark, and then use that this metal rib to do the fine final smoothing. And you see, I toss a lot of slip inside my cylinder. But now this is the time I use use the slip. So I keep on grabbing the slip and coat it on the inside of the wall. That you don't see it. But if you come here, there's nothing inside. The slip is gone because when I'm shaping, I'm using the slip too to coat it on the inside when I'm shipping it.
So this is how I hold it. This, like holding the pencil, you go straight and then go slowly, cut it at an angle and all the way down to the bottom. Okay. And the trick of uh, using this is you might want to use a, a grinder or something or sandpaper to send it so it's sharp. Okay. A lot of uh, tool here is not very sharp, so get it sharp, easier help to have to cut the clay through. So to get the shape first, and uh, actually, if you have uh, a, a torch, you can torch a little bit so that the surface is not so wet. Or use a hair dryer to dry it a little bit so that your clay doesn't stick on. So I'm going to use this tube bowl to squeeze okay. <laughs> for air. Okay. So here. Okay. So using circles to make ovals. Wow. Okay. So to uh, get a shape. And if you want to do something to change the feel of it. Okay, like here, I usually like to get my finger mark to, to work. Okay, I'm gonna push from the inside and then just finger to go through it. Can move it back a little bit. Okay. And if you are worried about uh, you want to contain some water, uh, there's one other way. I uh, usually roll up roll up clay balls and you can stick it in here to seal it a little bit of a decoration my hand is kind of wet okay and this towel is this i use it okay sorry it's a clean towel it's okay all right thanks yeah that help a lot. Well, clay balls, that is approximately the size of the hole. And then... So do you need four or just two? Four. 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 Yeah, okay. four. Um, so you just put it there. So that's the look like a button mm -hmm. <coughs> and actually uh, you need to roll your four balls so that the size will be the same now it's hard to judge that put this little gear So you can compare two sides that you have a different feeling of it. And here, actually, you want to get your, your oval shape a little bit nicer. You, can, you don't need to do it right away, okay? You can wait a little bit, maybe a half hour or one hour later, so that your wall will be slip, more stiff enough. And then you try to pedal it head on the bottom part.
the shape will look even better. So you don't want a round bottom? What? You don't want a round bottom? Perfect circle? Oh, no, no. It's the, the, not a perfect circle. You want to be oval. And later on, uh, after this piece gets the other half stage, you could shape it. You could use, uh, you don't need to trim it on the wheel. I find out this is a very good tool to use for trimming. Okay, this is a short form. And uh, you can remove clay by using your hand, free hand to, to, to trim, to remove the clay. Uh, this is called short form, S-U-R-F-O-R-M, short form. You can buy it from Amazon. Amazon has uh, has it cheap. I think any hardware store too, right? Yeah, Amazon like would this. be cheaper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I should receive some uh, advertisement fee yeah. from Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's the uh, the paddling, and about the uh, putting the rock. This is the uh, clay rocks I show you on my slides. Hmm. The little, the white dots, the little right rocks. Those are actually the dry clay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Sorry. It's going where? Actually, I just okay. Here is it. Get a plastic bag and the dry clay, and you just get a hammer and hammer it down, and get to choose. That looks more like a rock. Yeah. It's just the ones that. And it's, it's the same clay? It's different clay, so that you want to see the contrast. Mm -hmm. oh. White clay and uh, brown clay. Mm -hmm. You see the contrast. But how, after this one dry, this will shrink a little bit, right? But mm -hmm. the clay won't shrink. The clay will more or less, yeah. This will shrink less because it's already dry right, once. Right. Yeah. So, so when you you, you push it in, you kind of wrap it. Okay, the inside hand kind of wrap it. So your clay is inside okay. the clay. It's not stick on. Okay. It's kind of wrap it with the clay. Let's see here. Okay, I don't know. Just. If the, the, the opening is bigger, I can go all the way and do that. But now the hole is small, so I'm just going to do the, the rocks thing over here. So you embed it in? Yeah, kind of wrap it in. Okay. So that the outer part, this part is kind of enclosed the rock. I would like to do it here, but my hand is, this part is not right. Let me see if I can go all the way in. <laughs> you want to find someone with smaller hand to help? <laughs> How thick is the wall? I would say about a little bit less than a quarter of an inch now, especially the top portion. Okay, since my hand is in, so might as well to go there and do it. Which part? The, the, the pieces that have like the, the bumps on the outside. Like that? Yeah, like that. <laughs> that one? Yeah. That is before I close. I, no, no, not for this type of work. <coughs> I, will, I will do that demo later.
So we, we'll get to make one. Yeah, we'll get to get them, make one. Okay, so let me finish up this one so that they can see the whole. A little bit slip there and I'll squeeze it in. So I'll clean up that roughness later, but uh, we'll just get some. The whole piece is not perfect circle, so it, it's okay to to go with it. And later on, just uh, try to smooth it and remove a little bit of clay <coughs> and cut down using the short foam. Okay, maybe next week I will finish it up. So shouldn't it? Like I stretch, I don't know if I could, but if I mm -hmm. stretch it more like a fold, mm -hmm. would it? No, it's hard. It's hard. It's gonna be hard. <laughs> it has to be like this slender, and then you squeeze it. So like, if you make a, a volume like that, it's it's, it's hard to. Because it's further yeah. to stretch out. Yeah. That's why yeah. it's more to okay. Yeah. So I you have to like you have to go way. like this kind of shape instead of this kind of shape. That is hard to get so it over. Or it just looks terrible. Uh, you what? could try it. It's a project. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, I have to see if I could draw. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes it's interesting. So, you know, yeah. try to get the clay that is not perfect. Usually, you, when you mixed up on the wheel, it's perfect. But, you know, try to do some altering. It might be interesting. Okay. Sounds right. Cool. All right, thanks. Hey, so, yeah. Okay.